Okay, so I've just finished a webinar launch and did the whole thing through Kajabi. And a uh, few of you are interested. I was talking about linking this up with Webinar Jam, but using the Zoom pipeline. I think I confused you. Um, let me just show you how I did it quite simply. Honestly, it, I, I really, I'm happy with it. I think this is, I would definitely run through this again. Hopefully I can help you out as well. So when you come into the pipelines now, there is a Zoom webinar pipeline. So this is what I did. You click on here, create a pipeline. And as you can see, it's going to give you at the top here, a registration page, confirmation, form emails leading up to the webinar, and then five emails afterwards. Uh, then there's a sales page and the checkout page. Um, I'll show you what I've done with that. So I'm gonna come out of that and just go back to the one that I did. So this was mine. And so, yeah, my registration page. So I'll just show you what I've got here. And uh, you know, if you're familiar with this, you can see anyway kind of what's going on. I didn't change it much around from what the default was, if I'm honest. Um, so the buttons in here for reserving my spot and everything are exactly what it was. I just added a bit of text at the bottom. That then goes through to my form and registers. Um, so I kept in the emails that were going out beforehand. I think actually I added one or two more into it. Uh, I don't. I think they'd got a 15 minute before, but there wasn't a one hour before, and I wanted to put that in. Um, now I didn't put, you, you don't have to put the Zoom uh, webinar, it asks you for a link for it, and then it will populate it, but you can set the pipeline up without doing that, and that's what I did. So I kept all these in because actually, up until um, you know what's going out just before, they don't even have a link in there anyway. And then all I did was um, the links that were going out an hour before and 15 minutes before, I put an in, a button in here that said join us here, but that link was just going through to uh, the webinar page within here. So what I'm meaning is, um, so there's, sorry, let's come out of that. That's the email sequence. It then went to this confirmation page, which I didn't change. I think I just kept it in. I, this is kind of my coloring, this dark blue. Um, but I left that as it was, as simple as that. Um, and then you see the webinar page. And again, I haven't touched this in terms of the design. Um, I think this is what, Peter, if you haven't gone through the pipeline, you might think, uh, I assumed that the webinar room, the page, was actually going to bring in Zoom, but it doesn't. It just comes to here and it has a button that says join the webinar and that sends you off to Zoom or it opens up Zoom to do your webinar in. So easy as anything, what I've done is I've then, so I've used Webinar Jam and I'm not going to go through and explain how to use that, um, but you go through and you set up a webinar in Webinar Jam and what I've done is when you've saved it all out, it then gives you a page that says these are your links. Um, and it says to invite people in and you can either invite them to a registration page or you can invite them straight into the live lounge. And that's what that link there is to. So when you click on that link, what was happening, they're going, they haven't filled out anything else over on Webinar Jam up to this point. Um, but they've come back to, the email has told them to come back to this page inside Kajabi. They click this button and that takes them over to Webinar Jam and then they, they're sitting there in the lounge and it just says, please enter your name and your email address. Pop that in and then the thing starts, you're in. Um, there are no confirmation emails or anything like that going out from Webinar Jam and that's what I really don't like with Webinar Jam. Their landing pages are really clunky. There's very minimal design work you can do with it. I've spent hours before trying to brand it up to look like one of my pages. Um, I've bypassed all of that because everything's happening here through Kajabi. The only thing that comes out of Kajabi is when I click that button and the actual webinar itself is done within Webinar Jam. Does that make sense? I chose it over Zoom because um, if I wanna do a slideshow presentation like most of us do, if I'm doing that inside Zoom, all I can do is share my screen. And what I have to do is use Keynote. <laughs> I have to use Keynote and I'm actually showing my screen with the thumbnails down the side and it, as if I'm editing it. And I just don't like that. It looks really amateur to me. So I don't want to do that. If within Webinar Jam, I do my thing in Keynote, uh, my presentation, I save it out as a PDF. I then 
upload that into Webinar Jam, and it's a lovely experience. It's a slideshow already in it. I just click forwards and backwards on my buttons. I can change the transitions if I want to. Um, the main reason was that I wanted to be able to use videos. I wanted to be able to bring video clips in of people's testimonials. I'm teaching video. I needed to be able to show some examples of the videos that we've done. Again, can't do that inside Zoom other than going, have a look at my desktop, you know, and here's a video I'm going to play inside that. Um, Webinar Jam lets me upload it to YouTube beforehand and then it's pulling from that. So there's nothing, my computer isn't trying to upload it um, you know, through through Zoom, it's already there, it's on YouTube, so it's a better signal. Uh, so lots of reasons why I like Webinar Jam. I think the experience works really well. Uh, my wife was on the other end of it, listening in, watching, and she said it really worked well from her side. The comments, when I offered uh, um, an option to come and join me in the academy, I made my offer at the end. Uh, I just hit a button that says make this um, offer available and it pops up in front of the user, uh, the viewer. They can also see if I wanted to, you could live um, see whenever you're selling and it will just go ding, you know, so and so is just bought. Uh, I love it. Webinar Jam is a fantastic experience, but this has just made it perfect to me to be able to stay in Kajabi, which I love, but just literally do that live webinar over somewhere else on Webinar Jam and then back in here. So I then Webinar Jam then lets me, I um, haven't sent people to a replay page over there. This uh, Webinar Jam lets me download my video. So I brought that down. I actually chopped the bit off at the start where I'm sitting waiting and we're waffling because I thought actually on a replay you don't need to see that. So what I've done is I created a very simple extra page um, and then I brought it in here. I should show you actually that it, when I come down here, if I hover it says add page. So I've made a landing page somewhere else, um, just as a standalone page. And then when it says down here, bring a page in, that's what I've done. So this was my replay page. Um, couldn't be more simple than that. It's just got a heading at the top of here and a video and then a call to action, which was going to the next pipeline step down, which as you can see there was my sales page. But what a nice uh, full screen experience that you're getting with the slides. And as I say, you know, to be able to play videos into it, where did I have, um, so again, you know, I'm pulling my videos in at full screen in here, looking really nice. Um, all my images and everything. Um, yeah, love it, it really worked well. Very, very happy with the tech this time around. Then that button takes me over, that was to my sales page, um, which again, I've done the same as I've done previously. Um, I did just use, uh, I've actually stopped my subscription to um, Deadline Funnel um, and I've just had a go at this and I simply just turned the thing off or changed the page over at midnight, uh, which was eight in the morning to me anyway. Um, but then that goes through to that one and then, you know, obviously my links then come through from this and that goes through to my cart at the end. Uh, so dead easy, really, really enjoyed that as an experience. What I did differently to this was the, the follow-up emails. Uh, I'm a member of James Webmore's Business by Design. He's got an excellent email follow-up sequence. Uh, so they were the videos that I'd already got queued up elsewhere. So I literally just queued those up to do a broadcast of people that had um, registered for this. What I did actually was from the stats out of Webinar Jam, I was able to see who had attended. So I brought those people into here and I tagged them as attended webinar. And then I was easily able to send one, one lot of emails out to people who've registered here but hadn't attended. And then I could send different emails to people who had registered. And that's who the follow-up ones went uh, to all, sorry, to people who attended. And those follow-up emails simply went out to all the people that attended the webinar. Uh, a very slick uh, experience. It all worked through really well. I, I just set them up and broadcast them and queued them to go off at different times instead of them being in the pipeline. Um, but yeah, I hope that's helpful. I just thought, you know, off the back of this, a lot of people were asking questions and um, hopefully that answers a few of them. All right. By all means, reach out to me if you've got any questions. Uh, always happy to help on this stuff. Thank you.